looking at the camera. I have to make sure that I'm looking at the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today, Christopher Lyle, award-winning balloon artist, award-winning barbershop quartet tenor, and recently he learned how to change a tire. On today's show, he's going to nail a balloon dog to his face. Can I just make my own talk show? Well, apparently I can, and I just did! <laughs> Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dave Brand Show. My name is Dave, your curator of joy, your host of happy, your MC of woo-wee! Are you guys ready to have a good show? I know I'm ready to have a good show. Joining us live today, we have our uh, unfortunately, inaccurately named live studio audience. They are actually... Um, the at-home 30-second delay audience joining us here in the comments section, um, enjoying the show. If you want to be included in the comments section of our live show, why don't you head on over to patreon.com slash Dave Bren. Join the group. You'll get regular notifications when we're doing shows, and you can have your comments right up here on the screen. That's fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic show for you today. My guest is the man in yellow, the person himself, Christopher Lyle, who is now on screen. I have let you out of the doghouse, Christopher Lyle. Welcome to the show! Yay! Oh my god, I, I've, been, I, I've been down in the basement for <laughs> hours now drinking coffee and Diet Coke waiting for you to let me You've out of the doghouse. You've just been listening to me ramble so, and ramble for the last god. ten minutes and finally <laughs> here you are. <laughs> It's How's going it good. Buddy? Welcome to the show, pal. Uh, Thank you for having me. It's always nice of to be here. <laughs> yeah. um, how are you feeling? How's your day going? So, um, it's it's been a day. Um, I it I I've been slammed with uh, deliveries uh, as of recent, and with all the like back to school stuff. I started my deliveries uh, for today about one o'clock yesterday afternoon. Worked straight through until about two in the morning. Went to bed. Woke up this morning. Finished, and then from about like twelve thirty to one till around five o'clock, I was out delivering my stuff. You are a machine. So, um, right after the Dave Brin show, I'm going to bed. <laughs> this is your bedtime story. We'll we'll yeah. we'll we'll get you nice and worn out. We're gonna tucker this little guy out so we can go Thank right you. to bed after the show. Hey! Oh, I like to be tuckered. <laughs> So. All right, so you are, of course, everybody that's watching the show knows that you are an award-winning balloon artist. You are an amazing balloon artist, uh, also a magician and a performer. But that's old news. We all knew that. What they didn't know is that's you right. recently learned how to change a tire. I'm very excited to find out about this. Tell me all about it. I did. Okay, so um, <laughs> and it came about with, like, a lot of like being poked with a stick. Um, so about two years ago, I'm on my way into one of my restaurants um, about a year and a half ago, I guess. And um, uh, uh -huh. I blew a tire. And so I'm sitting on uh, the side of the road and I had to call and I obviously missed my restaurant that night. And uh, I thought it would be funny when the, the like tow truck person came, if he just saw me sitting in my, you know, like, uh, performing gear, you know, like all my like yellow, wearing this little Elmo headband, just like sitting, you know, on the side of the road by my car, just looking as pitiful as humanly possible. Oh, boy. And then I made the mistake of having him take a picture of me like that. And then I um, made the mistake of texting said picture to uh, Sam Cremines and Scott Tripp and John Justice, and Dan You know, there Staples are mistakes, and, and then there are just, like, it's just poor epic, epic life decisions, failures. sir. Yeah, yeah, that, that was not no. good adulting <laughs> right there whatsoever. And, uh, and it's now become an inside joke amongst uh, certain yeah. friends of mine that uh, I don't have a man card at all, which I think anybody that knows me should know. I've never. That's okay. Had a we man don't. Card. That's not why we love you, Christopher. To be honest, but you. I mean, but you do now know how to change a tire. How did that happen? I know. So uh, I do know how to change a tire now because um, in a another attempt to kind of like poke the Christopher, uh, they decided to create a um, a video tutorial 
that was featured on the Balloon Blast video <laughs> show, and it starred John Justice, and he changed a tire start to finish, teaching me how to do it as a segment on the Balloon Blast video show. So, uh, John Justice... Hey, thanks to you. I, I think that's great. I mean, he's uh, he's doing a service to the entire entertainment industry, right? We're, we all need to learn these valuable life skills. I'm too pretty to change a tire. Agreed. But I did change it. I did change a tire myself about four wow. months ago. Uh, I had, uh, you know, I was out driving and I, I had a flat and I was able to get out. I was able to get the wheel off and get the little donut on and pop that, that sucker on there and and drive into a shop, I felt like a million bucks. I was like, oh my God, I've done like a man thing. Congratulations, so, sir. You're... <laughs> Yay! Uh, I have such a yeah. sad Well, you know, this actually, re- talking of being on the road, uh, this reminds me uh, that you and I and our pal Matt Falloon, who will be on the show soon, I think next week sometime, we went on the road a few years ago. He could be on the show right now. Oh my Matt God! Falloon, Matt, Matt Falloon. Matt Falloon. Tune in next Monday, everybody, to watch the Matt Falloon version of this episode. Um, but Magic- the Magical Twistery, Twistery Tour, Tour was- which was a great uh, experience of us traveling around the country teaching balloon art. But, you know, yet again, I don't really right. want to talk about the balloon art. My favorite part about that trip is that you and I discovered a mutual passion, uh, which is a, a love of barbershop quartet singing. I was, I had, so for everyone watching, Dave is an amazing Stop it, stop it, singer. stop it. I know, oh my God, I can't even <laughs> burp as low as this cat can sing. I mean, we were just doing some impromptu harmonizing in the car, and I was just, oh my God, I was floored with how well you can, can sing, dude. It was, I yeah, it was awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been singing barbershop since I was a kid. Um, I got into it because my dad, uh, you know, sang barbershop. And, uh, you know, I've sung in, um, you know, like several quartets. And I've sung in um, uh, in a chorus back in Virginia where I'm originally from. And uh, one of the reasons I moved out here to Texas was to sing with the vocal majority chorus. Amazing. And so, that's yeah. that's so cool. And you've, you've won some awards as well. Is that is that correct? Yeah, so um, the vocal majority. Um, so the way it works is there's a, um, it's like a, a, a ladder contest cycle. Uh, there, you know, every district there's uh, 15 different districts all over the United States, and every district has maybe 10 or so um, division contests, and everybody competes in their own division. Whoever wins their uh, division contest, all of the division winners go to the district level, and then they compete against each other. And whoever wins district goes to the. I think I've I've watched a few episodes of Glee. I think I understand the general the general structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much, um, pretty much the same thing, uh, except uh, everyone's like eleven years old, which is not Glee. But you know, um, the overall society is getting much younger. Um, maybe we're down to like oh, 83 nice. now versus <laughs> six, but, um, no, you know, um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I have won three world champions Amazing. with the vocal majority chorus and I even have some shiny bling. Show us the I bling. Ooh. This is it. This is one, two. I'm going to try to hold Metal. up the third Those one here. They're pretty. Oh, they have a These little glockenspiel on them. Little glockenspiel. That's the, um. So S-P-E-B-S-Q-S-A yeah. was the old name for the Barbershop Harmony Society. That? That's the, uh, it is pronounced of Spensqua. Course it is. <laughs> and uh, that stands for the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America, Incorporated, which is now the Barbershop Harmony Society. That was my last gold medal with the new, what I call, Girl Scout logo on it. A yeah, um, little bit. Just looks like a bunch of, like... Yeah. How many but logos just, oh, can there yeah, possibly I mean, uh, be in the world, really? They, you know, we got to cut it off at some point. There, there it is. But no, I mean, I have a lot of fun singing. Uh, I don't, I don't do it as much now. Uh, I retired from the vocal majority in 2006 when my uh, my first child was born, right. because it was there was work, then there was family, and then there was nothing, no right. room for anything else after right. my daughter came along. So. 
but no, I mean, it was a ton of fun. Uh, and we actually went to the Barbershop Harmony Society. Yeah, that was great. I mean, like, I also don't, I sang in college also. I don't have like a, I haven't really kept up with it, but I think it was just, it's just one of those things that's great because it doesn't matter that we didn't keep up with it. It didn't matter that either of us were professional, but we, we were able to just do that together. Like we were in the car and we got to sing together. I'm sure Matt is gonna has a completely different perspective on all of this, which we'll talk I'm about. Sure Matt <laughs> was like, Matt was like ah! <laughs> ripping his hair out. I mean, you know, it was fun. No, yeah. I mean, it was a lot of fun. And then, you know, I mean, anytime I get to sing, it's fun. But when like two worlds right. collide, or like you know, the like balloon world with my like barbershop life just kind of you know like interweaves like this, it right. was so much fun. And uh, we actually have video of us we singing. We do indeed. Do you? Did well, oh dang! Oh, I should have had you send that clip to me. Well, you know, it's it's hard. I was I was contemplating I what I really it. wanted to do actually was to have us do some singing here. But it, in all of the testing and stuff that I've been working on for the show, that has proven that that's going to just be awful and sound terrible because the audio quality is just not going to work. But at some point, that would totally be the reason it would sound <laughs> terrible. That's the only reason it would sound awful. But right I now. think at some point during the course of this next week, you and I, uh, we, we should record something over the phone together no. and we'll release it. We'll put it up on my Patreon. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to make that happen. I'm making this a promise to you guys at home watching right now. Christopher Lyle and I are going to record us singing Barbershop. Um, and since it's quartet, there's only the two of us and we're recording it. I guess technically we could each record, like I'll record the bass and baritone. You You record the tenor and... Tenor lead. Lead. Uh, that's yep. a promise to you guys. It'll be posted on my Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash Dave Bren if you want to see that video. All right. Woo! So uh, there's a couple of things I really want to get to. First of all, um, I, you are going to nail a balloon dog into your face. I promised everybody on the internet that you're going to nail a balloon dog to your face, and I'm going to make you do it. Now, to... <laughs> I uh, oh, hold on, this Christopher. I, I got to put you. I'm going to put you back in the doghouse for a second, just so I can be cl clear with my audience here. I did not warn Christopher. Did not tell me that he can nail a balloon dog to his face. He did tell me that he can put nails in his nose, and I was the one who thought of making him nail a balloon dog to his face. And his reaction was, "Well, I don't. I don't know if I can really do that." Uh, and instead of me just saying, "Sure, we'll think of something else," I forced him to do it. <laughs> I even texted, I said, Don't, just make it work. Make it work. Uh, Christopher, what I didn't tell you is the reason why I said make it work is I had already told the entire internet that you agreed. I saw that after the fact. Yeah. I did the math and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not a good everybody. friend. Right, well, I uh, don't, you shouldn't rely on me in general to take care of you. <laughs> I am just going to okay. abuse you for the benefit Trust of my me. audience. That's all good. You know, I've, I've been abused for less. <laughs> So, <laughs> but we're gonna fine. we're gonna save that for a little bit later. First, um, I wanted to I wanted to ask you because part of what I've done in my career is I spent a lot of time going around the world, like teaching other balloon artists how to do stuff, uh, which is my passion. I love to teach. I love sharing what it is that I do. It's kind of why I'm doing this show too. I want to share my friends with the world. Yeah. Um, but I I don't want to work too hard on my show, so I'm gonna flip it around. I would like it if you could teach me something. Um, and we're gonna kind of we're gonna put a, an artificial time limit here. You have to teach me something in five minutes or less, and I have to master it, whatever it is. Uh, this we have not okay. planned in advance. I have no idea what you're about to show me. Uh, it could be easy. It could be hard. We have no idea. We're gonna find out. Do so, I need anything? Um, uh, you need one balloon. Two sixty. All right, we got some balloons right over here. Okay. Lighter colored. Uh, I don't really go for goldenrod when I'm gonna do Golden this. Goldenrod. Golden rod. I got to go. Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. That's it. So, and we're going to inflate it, I would say. Oh, hold on. Let me get you back. There we go. All right. Now, I just mouth inflated. That's because I'm here by myself, and I'm not going to spread my cooties around. So. Smart. So, I'm going to say about uh, about a five finger okay. tail. Yeah. You want a good tail for All this. Right. Usually, if I'm going to try to do something that's one balloon, I would use a 160, okay. but I'm going to stretch this guy a bit. So, 
here's the thing. I've, you know, I've spent the last decade, you know, studying you, studying Buster, studying, you know, Jack Matson, uh, David Grist, uh, Tony Twitt. I mean, all of the names that are out there to, to work on, you know, yeah, the, you know, like big intricate stuff. And now that I've been doing that for, you know, so long, I, I, I've kind of come back to one right. balloon stuff. What can I make with just a single balloon? So here's what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be a one balloon owl. owl. An owl. Yeah. Okay. An owl. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start with about a small three right. finger bubble. Followed by another three now, finger bubble. Now, I mean, an owl, you know, a dog, I understand that's simple. You got a nose, you got ears. This is, there's going to be a lot of details here. This is going to be not okay. as intricate as what you might think, but it, yeah, it's All got right. some cool details Let's to see. it. Let's see. So I got two. Um, you want to make sure that, yeah. Um, what I didn't mention, make sure that these two bubbles soft. are soft. Okay. Because we're going to, you know, we're going to do something a little not nice to them here momentarily. And we're just going to lock okay. them back around each other. Roll we have three minutes here. left. Okay, here we oh, go. Shoot. Squish. Boot twist. Oh no, keep keep going, I'll catch up. Keep going, I'll catch up. Like, like this! <laughs> gonna, all right, so I've got two loop twists. I'm going to take one of these bubbles. I'm going to push it through that Okay. Loop. Are you sure about that? Sounds dangerous. Wait a second, okay, I think... Okay, okay, okay. I think I get it. Like that? Is that right? Pinch twist. Yep. Okay. Right. Yep, you got it. A, pinch twist. Uh, pinch twist. At the, right there for the beat. Yeah. Oh, I already see it. I already see it. Three, three bubble roll through. I know what that is. If you don't know what a three bubble roll through is, uh, there is educational content all about it. If you join my Patreon, patreon.com slash DaveBrand, there's all kinds of cool stuff up there for you to learn. You can learn how to do this. Okay, three bubble roll through. Got it. And now we do two small pitch twists. About a, about a piece. We're in the home stretch. I can feel it. I'm out of air. What happened? Did you pop the tail? Oh, yep, so you can make a little loopy do. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Make a little loopy do. Yep, yep, loopy yep, yep. One minute so, left, and we did it. We're done. Uh, turn your beat yep. so it's up and down, not side to side. And as we can see, with a little bit of a uh, quirk. We can actually nice. make that an L. So all that is is just Sharpie. I just colored yeah. the beak orange. I just added a couple of eyes, and that is a super cute. That is a super cute little... owl. I love it. And you can he can sit on your finger if you put put thing there. All right. Yep. You can shit on your shit. Or you can <laughs> oh, no. a seven old flower and lock it in and headband or bracelet or whatever. Um, I've been using this guy so. Um, he was taught to me by my buddy out here, Ray Walsh. I don't know if this was his or if uh, he learned it from someone, but we were just jamming one day and... This is cool. Yeah, he taught this to me. Cute little you know, owl. I'm going to keep I, him right there. Yeah, I made a couple of little tweaks to it, but... Uh, this is yeah, lovely. Thank you, Christopher. Good. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It's oh, always absolutely. good to have another one balloon animal in your repertoire. Now, folks listen, watching live at home, you've got one chance to ask Christopher Lyle a question before we go. Now, Christopher, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, we're, you're going you're gonna to nail nervous. a balloon dog to your face sh shortly. Uh, yes. did it, first, I wanted to ask, did you, do you have a show and tell object for us today? You do? I do. Um, I All do right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Show and tell time starts with the slide whistle. 
It's the show and tell slide whistle, Christopher. That just made me so happy. Isn't you that have fun? no idea. This oh is, my it's, God. I'm I, calling I, I, it the show and tell slide whistle. Whistle. Initially, it was called the self-deprecation slide whistle, and I was going to blow it every time I said something negative about myself or the show. But that's a terrible idea. I don't, and I don't even know why that I thought of that idea. idea. I, I, this is just the worst show ever. That is, you know. The self-deprecation <laughs> slide whistle doesn't go back up. It only goes self down. Self-deprecation slide whistle is awful. So my show and tell show and tell today, uh, is this. We just went to uh, Cleveland last week. And when I was hanging out by Lake Erie, um, my niece found this rock that was painted like an alligator. And she came up to me and she said, Uncle Christopher, look what I found. It's for you. And I'm like, where did you find this? And she's like, I found it over by that, that tree. And I'm like, great. So I wonder how much Rona is probably oh, covering gross. this thing. She just but found it on the floor. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. No, you... I think it's awesome. And, and um, she named it Google. Yeah. Because the eyes are googly eyes, which you probably can't really see. Um, but did you uh, wipe no, it down? So, at least? Um, okay. Oh yeah, I did. Um, we we had wipes and stuff, and okay. we like took care of that. But um, I was told by her mom that um, just recently people have been painting rocks and leaving them around Lake Erie for people to find oh. and pick up. Uh, yeah. So that was a That's fun thing. Cute. Um, or she's wrong, and uh, I just stole some child's <laughs> pet rock. <laughs> no idea. But uh, it's mine now. I, I mean, this it. seems like a marketing idea. I feel like you could put it in a box and sell it, call it. Pet Rock is yeah, a great name, actually. I think you should, that's a good name. You could go with that. This is my <laughs> pet rock. Nobody's ever come up with a pet rock before. This could be a new thing. Oh, good Lord. All right. <clears throat> Christopher Lyle. Are we there? A question we, uh, for Christopher Lyle has appeared question. in the chat. Uh, let me bring it up here on screen if I can. There it is from Air Weaver. Question for Mr. Lyle. What is the average airspeed veloci uh, velocity of an unladen swallow? Air Weaver, there's, there's no uh, unladen swallow? How could, how could Christopher possibly even know? I don't even know. What's... I don't I, even understand the question. <laughs> um, uh, you do, oh, you don't understand? You don't even understand the question, Christopher? Oh, Christopher. All right, Christopher, you have homework. Actually, Air Weaver, thank you for a, 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 asking that question because the fact that Christopher doesn't know the answer means that he has homework to do. The, uh, that is a quote from Monty Python's Search for the Holy Grail. If you have not watched this film, Christopher, and folks at home, literally, what have you been have. doing with yourself? You have. I I have seen all of the Monty Pythons, but I do not oh, have them okay. committed to memory. Sorry, so then your, your homework is to watch um, Monty Python Search for the Holy Grail until you have it committed to memory. And then you will know the sir. average airspeed velocity of an unladen oh. swallow. Or rather, you will know that it's an unanswerable question. Okay, I have, I have marked that down with my cactus pen. You better get... Yes, everybody should have a cactus oh, pen. Oh, fantastic. So, it goes in its little cactus pot. Well, whenever you want to make a point, yeah. you just write it down. I see what you did there. <laughs> you need to slide with oh, no. Um. Well, all right, Christopher, I think we've been putting off the inevitable for long enough. The people at home want to see you nail a balloon dog to your face. Now, let's let's take this one step at a time. I just want to, first, I just want to see if you can, the, the putting a nail in your face in the first place is really freaking me out. So can we just see that? Without just, the balloon just, dog? Yeah. I just want to, just, I want to make sure okay, this is so. safe. This really freaks me out. Oh, it is definitely. This is definitely oh, good. not. Safe. All right. So that means for for those of you is... at home, uh, please do not try this. Uh, yeah, do not do this at home. Just remember, I had very little parental supervision right. growing up, um, and my uh, mentor in magic was also into geek stuff and 
Uh, he taught me a lot of stuff, although this was not taught to me by my mentor. This was taught to me by uh, one of my friends out here. Her name is Della Dead Girl. She is a uh, performing zombie, and uh, she does. She has uh, an amazing show. It's all sideshow geek stuff, and uh, I've always wanted to learn Blockhead. This is not sleight of hand. This is real. This is – that is eight inches. <laughs> by my measurement, I don't know. <laughs> It, it could also sure, be four inches. Sure, sure. Well, but but they, it, uh, I'm going to call, call this eight inches because it's all it about perspective. And it is, yeah. it is a real nail. You can hear that. It's, this, it doesn't right. collapse in on itself. So <clears throat> here we go. So you just want me to hammer it in without the? Yeah, dog. I, I just want to see. Yeah, I want to see this happen. Oh, you're going to use the bottle. Oh, this is even worse. Oh no! I feel okay. Oh, it's all the way in! No, no, no! <laughs> oh my! God. Can you just and it'll just—it's fine. You can just leave it in there. Can yeah. you? Now, if you were alive and I screamed, <laughs> I'd kill you. <laughs> and believe it or not, I have gotten, uh, I have reached the point where I can hammer four of those in each nostril for a total of eight, which I've never seen anyone do. I'm not saying that they could. Do you have it. that many with you? Saying, never... Can you put more? Can you put more than one? Uh, um, I could. Oh, if that's I had, okay. Uh, we kind of uh, threw this we did. together last I don't know second, a, and I went, uh, I went racing through my garage, and I was able to find one four-inch nail. And I was like, "Yeah!" yeah not I only did I force it. you to to do a new trick that you hadn't done by putting a dog in with this, I also forced you to find the nail at the last second. You know, I actually love the idea of adding a balloon. All right, dog well, to let's this. let's see it happen, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the first time. In fact, I'm going to hide my face right now. Well, uh, well, first, we have to get the we have to get this nail out. Yeah. Oh God! Oh God! Ooh! Perfect. And then I have to sanitize it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gotta be safe. Sanitize for safety. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the hey, first you know time what? on YouTube TV uh, or anywhere, as far as I am aware, a balloon dog will be nailed to the face of Christopher Lyle. Here we go. <laughs> and I got to say, already that's yeah, looking that looks amazing. Great. Here we go. All right. I'm give this a go here. See if you can get a little closer to the camera, too, for this. Yeah. Well, you, it looks good oh, yeah, when you do it sideways. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. You can get the bottle. <laughs> oh! It's so gross every time. Oh! He did it! <laughs> yeah! I got it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta really hammer it home, pal. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, this is the screen grab right here. Those of you watching live, you have witnessed the moment that is gonna be screen. Actually, can you move the dog up so it's not over your shirt, which is yellow? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna really make you work for this one, pal. <laughs> Yes! Yes! yes. It <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here first. Christopher Lyle just got nailed <laughs> on the Dave Brin show. Oh, I got there. Oh, this oh. is my real life. You're you that are really insane. my friend. Look at that. And you really just did that. I cannot. Just for you, buddy. I oh. literally cannot thank I you never, enough. I have never. I have never done that before, <laughs> ever. 
with the balloon dog. Well, that's going to be a, a so, new part of your show from now on, I imagine. And appropriately, using a, a uh, corona. We got to be timely, pal. I'm, I'm going to pretend this that show was on is purpose. nothing if not topical. <laughs> there it is. So. Was there any other questions that um, I could let, answer? Let me go check. The, I think someone might have said here. Um, oh, wow. There's a lot happening in the chat. Don't do this at home, says somebody. Um, oh, Drew is saying, are you suggesting coconuts migrate? Yeah, again, we got to watch the whole movie, get it memorized. Uh <laughs> I could go line for line with anybody on any Star That's Wars That's going to be movie. next. That'll be the next I, time. Actually, the next time you come on, which I, I'm already saying that you're going to be on again because you were absolutely delightful and you were definitely coming on my show next time. Um, Christopher, you're amazing. You're a delight. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you. Um, oh, uh, you before brother. you go, what's, uh, what's, a good, what's the best way for folks to get in touch with you if they want to either book you for a party or a delivery or if they just want to say hi to you? What's your contact info? Yeah, so um, best way, well, so like my website is uh, ChristopherLyle.com. Uh, if you're on Facebook, um, j I mean, just find me on Facebook. Just hit me up there if you Google the guy in the yellow suit or the guy in yellow not the man in yellow that's Every curious guy. george and that's like animal <laughs> cruelty to the highest degree but we don't talk <laughs> about that um but yeah uh, you can uh, just like reach out uh, over email my email is cl it's like c l at christopherlyle.com gotcha. cl at christopherlyle.com so, Guy in the yellow suit. Yeah. Christopher, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. You are the absolute best. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, to all of the folks watching at home, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for um, participating in the chat section. Uh, thank you for watching, making it worthwhile for Christopher to nail a balloon dog into his head. It would have meant nothing if you guys weren't here to see it, and you were. And for that, I deeply appreciate you. Uh, coming up on Friday, my guest is going to be Sam Cremines. You don't want to mess that. And next week, my guest is going to be on Monday. We're going to have Matt Falloon joining us here on the show. Lots of fun coming up in the weeks ahead. Make sure you head on over to patreon.com slash Dave if you want to get reminders about the show. And remember, if you're watching, make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Talk to you later.